Greetings. Welcome to the Kentucky Virtual Library training video on Explora for Middle School. We will start at kyvl.org and we'll choose four K-12 students on the orange menu and then choose middle. Scroll down a little bit till you see Explora for Middle Schools. Now here in the middle is a carousel of changing topics. These change about every 10 days. You can navigate Explora by topic or subject, but what we want to do today is a search for civil rights. Now it makes recommendations based on topics that are available or that are commonly searched. I am going to choose Civil Rights Movement 1960s because that is what I'm interested in. And here we have a Civil Rights Movement topic overview at the top of the page. Now the great thing about Explora is that it combines encyclopedia entries with magazine article results. So if we scroll down a little bit, we have articles from Nation, from Newsweek, Descent Magazine, so on. I'm going to start with this topic overview for civil rights movement. I have quite a few options here. If I need to, I can translate this into a different language. So I choose the language and click translate. I can have this article read to me. I just hit the play button and it will start to read. And what it will do is highlight the text and highlight each word as it goes along. Let's stop that. One of the things that students enjoy is changing the accent. Uh, so we have American, Australian, or British accent, so uh, they can change that. You can also download an MP3 of the audio and listen to it at another time. So this is a fairly long HTML uh, text article. Sometimes you'll find they have images, sometimes not. Over on the right hand side are tools. So these are ways I can take action with this article. So the first option is Google Classroom. I can also use Google Drive if Google Classroom is not available. I can save this to Google Drive and what it will do, it will prompt me to log into Google if I haven't already, and then it will create an EBSCO folder and put the HTML file in there. I can add to folder, so that's another option. I can create a personal login under sign in for EBSCO and I can put articles, images, searches, um, RSS feeds and such within a personal folder on the EBSCO server. I can print. I can email this to myself or somebody else. I really like the email feature because I can choose my citation format and that will be included in the email. So instead of having to take an extra step and go here to the citation, I can email this and get the citation as part of the email. But I can go to site and look for the citation format that I need. And depending on the type, it may or may not include the persistent URL to the article. Now this is something that's important to point out. This is the permalink to the article. Don't use the link that's in the web address in your web browser. This 
this address at the top of the page is a moment in time. It's browser based, session based, and it won't work for me later on. It won't work for someone else. You need the persistent URL. So oftentimes that's found in a citation or it's found here under permalink where you can copy and paste the permalink into a Google Docs. Let's go back to search results. Now, one of the things I can do if I just want to look at magazines over here on the left side is my refine results. So since I've already looked at the topic overview, I'm going to choose just uh, magazines to look at. And we have some things from Nation, New Republic, uh, People Magazine. So let's look at something with PDF full text. The great thing about a PDF is that it looks like the original. So it looks uh, just like the magazine article as it appeared in the print publication. So we've got images, etc. I can download this article. I can print it. And over on the right side, I have my tools. I can put it in Google Classroom, Google Drive. I can email the PDF to myself and it, or to somebody else. And again, it ha I can choose a citation format to go with it. I can get the permalink for this. Uh, there's quite a few things that I can do when I'm looking at the PDF. Let's go back to results list. I can also filter by Lexile. So if I'm looking for something specific, I may take off the magazine option and just do Lexile. There's different ways that I can approach my results. And I can choose multiple Lexile ranges. If I click Show More, let's just do two. And then I've got 32 items that I can look at. If you need help at any time, come to kybl.org. If we're online during the day, the chat feature will be available, but you can use the question mark and submit a ticket to our help desk system. You can also send us a text message this way. Um, it's a great way to get a hold of us, and we'll do our best to help you out. Thank you so much.